Hey everyone, it's Amy. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're here for the first time, welcome for the first time. I am a travel agent and a travel blogger. And here on this channel, I share some of my favorite destinations, some of the best travel tips and tricks, as well as a little bit of the business of travel and what it's like to work from home. So if any of those things interest you, make sure to subscribe and ring the little notification bell so that you don't miss the next video. In today's video, I am coming to you from the floor of my office because I figured I need to do this. I've been planning to do this the last few times that I've gone to Mexico and it just hasn't happened. So I'm going to be from my floor bringing you this what to pack for Cancun video. Now, this is specifically what to pack for an all inclusive. Okay, I had to move. The lighting was kind of funny and it's kind of funny over here too, but whatever. We're just gonna, we're just gonna go with it. Um, so this is what to pack for an all-inclusive. So this could apply if you're doing a trip that is somewhere other than Cancun, or even if you're not doing an all-inclusive, but this is basically what to pack for an all-inclusive in Cancun and other places. So this is not an all-encompassing list. I don't expect to have to tell you that you need to bring, you know, underwear or a hairbrush. However, I am going to have a free downloadable little checklist that will have more of that kind of stuff on it. So check the description below for that. Um, I'll have that on my website as well. And let's just get into this. Now, when you visit an all-inclusive resort, you can definitely tell the all-inclusive newbies from the professionals. <laughs> and I wanted to show you some of the things that I like to pack for all-inclusives in Cancun. And if you pack some of these things, even if it's your first time at all-inclusive resort, you will be the envy of all of the other newbies. So let's just go ahead and get started. First thing, I like to definitely make use of my, sorry, it's loud. I like to definitely make use of my personal item on the airplane. I have experimented, I've used all different kinds of bags. I had some really expensive camera bags that lasted me a long time, but recently I bought this bag. I have not used it yet, but I'm gonna use it on this trip. It was like $30 on Amazon. It is the perfect, perfect size. I will link it below. All of these things I will have linked below as well as my Amazon storefront, which has a whole section of things to pack for Cancun. But definitely make sure that you're not using a small purse or tiny bag for that personal item. As long as it fits under your seat and is within certain dimensions, you can use it. So make sure to maximize that with a bag like this or a backpack. Okay, that's number one. Number two is having some other sort of bag to use as a beach bag. Now I have this and it's full of other stuff I'm gonna show you. This is from the Hyatt Zalara Cancun, my favorite all-inclusive resort. They gave me this for being a travel advisor and booking with them and I love it. Um, so this is what I use. You could use a bigger bag, a beach bag, something like that, but just make sure you have some kind of bag to go back and forth from the pool area, just so that you're not like carrying all of your stuff. Because as I'm going to show you, you'll probably have a lot of stuff that you're going to take to the pool or the beach. So just having a bag that isn't your travel bag, probably a good idea. Okay, let's go ahead and start with some basics. Okay. So one of the first things that I like to have in an all inclusive is something to keep your beverages in. So for me, I like to bring this one. Again, this is also from the Hyatt Zalara. Focus, focus here. Is it working? Okay, again, this is also from the Hyatt Zalara. They gave this to me for being a travel agent with them. And if you wanna learn more about my travel agent services, link in description. However, they also sell these at the resort along with bigger ones. And if you do want something bigger, I recommend having a tumbler like this, hydro, hydro flask. Yeti, etc. It's just really nice. You don't have to keep going back to get more drinks um, because the glasses they give you. Now, don't worry about wasting them because they do wash and reuse them, but they're very small. So if you don't want to keep going back to the bar, having a big um, drink holder like that is handy. Okay. So the next thing that I want to show you is these super cute passport holders. I have these for myself and for my husband. And one reason why it's nice to have these is because if there are multiple people traveling, you don't have to look through to figure out whose passport is whose. This one is mine, this one is his. These are less than $10 on Amazon. They're super cute and they even have a spot for credit cards and a pen, which you need on the plane to fill out your uh, immigration um, forms. So 
Anyway, really, really nice to have. Most people on the plane don't seem to know that you need to have a pen. I always end up loaning my pens to people. So have a pen, and then if you don't plan to carry a purse, which I personally don't, you can keep anything that you might need in here and cash, but I'm gonna talk about that in here in just a second. So let's actually go to that right now. This is one of the best, <laughs> the best things that you can have uh, on your Cancun vacation um, for anybody with long hair. So this is scrunchy. Okay, keep your hair out of your face, out of the water in the pool, right? However, this scrunchy has a zipper in it and you can put, what's the focus? You can put money in here. I have two of these. I have a black one and I have a gray one and every time that I pull cash out of this little thing, people are just amazed, amazed. Like, well, that's so genius because you don't really want to have your wallet on you or something getting wet in the pool and you want to be able to tip um, your bartenders or whoever's bringing you food or what have you, put it in here. So that is one of my best tips for sure. Another one of my best tips is to have a pool float. This one, as well as most of the things that I'm showing you, is available on Amazon. It's just kind of a hammock and then it blows up on either side. But it's really small, so it's easy to put into a bag. It's like $10. It's amazing. Every time I'm in the pool, someone's like, oh, did you buy that here? And I was going to tell them, no, I bought it on Amazon. Get one of these. You will not regret it. Another really fun and totally ridiculous thing are these little <laughs> drink holding cups. I should have inflated this for this video. Um, it's a shark. You can inflate it. Do you need this? No. Is it super fun and cute? Yes. We'll link that below. Now, let's get into a little bit more serious stuff, although that's really fun. Um, make sure you bring a couple of pairs of shoes if you need some hiking sandals or something if you're gonna do an excursion. You'll also need some dinner sandals. I'm not showing you those things because your preference is going to vary. I'm not gonna show clothes either, but I'm gonna talk about it. Also, I recommend having some shoes just to wear down around the pool, the beach, etc. cetera. Um, I just got these, I haven't even worn them yet. It's nice to have a different, you don't necessarily want to be getting your dress sandals all wet all the time and you, or if you're, you have like boots or something, I don't know. This is what I'm bringing along with a pair of dress sandals and then I'm going to wear kind of some slide on, um, like hey dude style shoes on the airplane. Okay, so we have those. I'm not doing this in any kind of order, I'm just kind of, this is how I live my life, just on the fly. Okay, sunglasses. I don't really think I need to say much more about that. I like cheap sunglasses because who wants to have super expensive sunglasses that are gonna get lost or broken? My husband, that's who, that's not me. Um, I got these in a two pack from Amazon for like $13. I get a lot of compliments on them and they are super cute. They will be linked below. Just make sure you bring a couple of pairs just in case you lose them. <sighs> Let's try to be serious for a second. This is a solar charger. I bring this every time I travel now because in 2020, I was stuck in Cancun during Hurricane Delta and the power went out and my phone battery died. And I wish I would have had this. Now I do keep this charged. You can hook it to your phone. You can hook it to whatever. It's also a flashlight, but it's a solar charger. So even if you don't have access to electricity, you can charge this in the sun and it does work. I have tested it. I've done it by the pool. You can charge this in the sun, charge your phone, whatever you need. This thing is like 20 something dollars and I would strongly recommend it. Ooh, just cause you, you never know. You never know when you might need it. I didn't have it when I did need it. See right now, I haven't charged it in quite some time and it's still like three quarters of the way charged. But I will charge it before I leave on my next trip because it's not hurricane season, but it doesn't take up that much room. It's just not a bad idea. Okay. so. Obviously, you're probably going to know that you should bring sunscreen, however, make sure that it's reef safe. And not everything is. Um, this is not only reef safe, but it's also human safe. I'm really particular about what I put on my body. I realize not everybody is. If you're not going to be, at least try to be conscientious of the fact that lots of people are getting in the water and we want to protect the reef. It does say reef friendly on this one, um, but this is another one It's like GMO free, gluten free, vegan, all the things. Um, this one is tinted. I bought it on clearance at Sprouts um, a couple weeks ago in Florida and i um, taking this and then I also got this just a little 
I just realized that during the whole last part that I had filmed, my hair had been up and I meant to take it down. But again, real life. Um, I didn't really have time to film this today, but I wanted to get it done. So here we are. I think the last thing we talked about was this. I hope that was included on here. Um, and yeah, so it's a flashlight, solar charger. Highly recommend. Let's go on to the next thing. I might be a little extra, and I don't I don't think of myself as a person who is extra, but this probably would um, disagree. I like to bring a noise machine with me when I travel. I live somewhere that's very quiet, very quiet. And when you travel, it's typically not quiet. So both at home and when I travel, I use a noise machine so that the noise level is kind of the same no matter where I'm at. I just prefer that. I have trouble sleeping and this helps. So, okay, so that's something that I bring. Maybe you didn't think about it, but if you live somewhere that's either loud or quiet and you're traveling somewhere that's the opposite, just something to think about. Okay. You're going to be in the sun. We talked about that with the sunglasses already, so prepare yourself. Um, I also recommend a sun hat. This is from Amazon, and I love it. And on my Amazon storefront, there's more of these hats sold than pretty much anything else. It's just a nice sun hat. It keeps your face out of the sun. My husband hates it, and I love it. So I recommend recommend bringing a sun hat and I will link this one. I think it's like 17 or $20. Okay. Now, um, I definitely recommend bringing bathing suits and a couple of them because you're going to be in the pool probably a lot. Even if you don't really feel like you are, um, a swimmer, you're probably gonna be in the pool a lot. It's good to bring one suit to wear and one to dry. Um, both of these are from Cup She. They have really cute bathing suits. I will link some below. You can get them on Amazon. You can do the try what is it called, prime wardrobe, where you can try them um, because if you're anything like me, you'll try in a bunch of bathing suits and most of them are horrible, but some of them are good. So anyway, I like Cup She bathing suits. Um, they also have this super cute cover up and a couple like it. This is great for going down to the pool. Right here. Um, I also recommend, and here is a freely Big recommendation. I like to have these Turkish towels. This is by Sand Cloud, but let me be honest with you. You don't have to buy the Sand Cloud ones. I have a, a few of them, but you can honestly just get um, some on Amazon that are just as good and much cheaper. This is an extra large one, so it's not actually the one that I normally take with me, but I couldn't find the other one, so I need to find it because I'm leaving in a couple of days. But here's this one. I use this for multiple purposes, or at least I use my other one for multiple purposes because you could use it kind of as a cover up in place of that. So wrap it around you when you go down to the pool or the beach. You can use it as an airplane blanket, which I do. Um, and yeah, and I will 100% just wear this on the airplane like a scarf. So it doesn't have to go in my bag. Totally fine. No one will say anything to you. They'll think you're crazy, but they won't say anything to you. I also sometimes keep it in my bag. Um, <laughs> So that people don't think I'm crazy, but yes. Um, so airplane blanket cover up, and most importantly, hands down, most important for this. When you go to a resort that has free for all cabanas, you want something that is going to show that it is yours. So not just your standard pool towel. These are perfect. I go down as soon as I get my coffee in the morning, so like six, because that's the kind of person that I am. I'm up early when I travel, go to bed early, up early. And I will mark my cabana with one of these. That's pretty much it. Um, okay, so that is most of the stuff. I have a couple more things to show for this What to Pack for Cancun video. If you're gonna be going on any kind of snorkel trip or ATV or anything where you don't wanna have your phone out or a regular camera, bring a GoPro. Also something that floats in the water, which this does, that's really a smart thing. Um, also reading material, I don't have any books right here, but reading material or a Kindle is always a good thing when I'm traveling at an all-inclusive. I just like to relax and just do virtually nothing um, for like five minutes and then I go and find something to do. But just generally speaking, <laughs> I like to read a little bit while I'm there, so I always bring a book. Now last but not least, if you know, you know. I hope that these are obsolete soon, but for now, 
you have to do these to come back to the US. Okay, so of course, most resorts have free testing on site. I did that once and I will never do it again because it was the like brain swabby test. Uh uh, not gonna do that again. I went for a massage after and my nose was running the whole time. It was really disgusting. Don't do it, okay? Don't do it. Bring these. You can do these yourself. They are proctored. Don't go to Walgreens and buy them. You have to buy the proctored ones. I will put a link in the description. They have to be the ones that are proctored to count for flights. I've done these many times with no problem. My clients have done these many times with no problem. If you don't mind doing the other test, you can absolutely do it at the resort. This is what I do. This is my preference. Um, then, like I said earlier, I didn't talk about clothes. You're going to want to look into the resort that you're staying to see what kind of dress code they have. I always bring maybe a couple of dresses and then maybe like a jumper for dinner nights. And then my husband typically just brings dress shorts and polo shirts. There are some restaurants that require long pants and closed hood shoes. So just keep that in mind if you are going somewhere that has a restaurant with that kind of dress code. If you're doing like a sandals or something, not that there are any in Cancun, there are not. But if you're doing a sandals or something, they have... Um, stricter dress codes at restaurants and then even Hyatt Zalar like I was talking about their chef's plate restaurant does have long pants and dress shoes required however most all-inclusive resort restaurants are going to be okay kind of like a dress or dress shorts dress pants etc um it's not you know don't wear your bathing suit or something they're not going to let you in so that's all I have for you today like I said before oh one more thing always bring extra chargers more than you think you're going to need because and that's pretty much it. So if you have any questions about traveling to Cancun or traveling to an all-inclusive or what to pack or anything else like that, just let me know in the comments below. I always answer my comments. It's one of the best ways to get in touch with me actually. Um, and I, I love interacting with people there. Also, like I said, I will link in the description to a free packing list that you can download. It's a PDF you can print, check off just to make sure you have everything that you need. If you have any more questions for me, just let me know. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.